Hello everybody and welcome to my new Let's Play. This, of course, is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, this game... This game isn't perfect and... To be fair, in a lot of ways, it is a very, very subpar game. Um, it's probably the year it came out, 2011. It was probably the most disappointing game of that year for me. Uh, what was promised and what was delivered was two wildly different things. Uh, now, a lot of the games I play, I do recommend people give a go, but this one... Uh, it's difficult to say. I mean, if you're a hardcore Resident Evil fan, like uh, I consider myself to be, and I know a lot of other people are as well, then I would say this game probably is worth trying for the story. However, if you're just um, generally looking for a game to play, be it multiplayer or single player, I would seriously suggest look elsewhere because everything that this game does is done a shit ton better in other games. Anyway, let's get into this. Now this is my third try at recording the first mission. I've recorded up to mission four already, but the first mission, I keep, I don't know what's wrong with me today, I keep saving over the file, which is annoying. So let's get this done. Now, we're gonna have to restart, which is fine. We are going to go to uh, free play, and we're gonna go private, because I don't want random people joining my game, damn it. Uh, we're going to go there, yep. Yeah. We're going to be playing this on normal difficulty. Uh, the reason for that is this game isn't too bad difficulty wise. Uh, the biggest challenges for this game come from the silly... Uh, <laughs> silly, that's an understatement. Comes from the AI companions. The AI companions are what make this game difficult, not the enemies. Um, they have a complete lack of teamwork. So anyway, we are going to play as Lupo because she's the only character in this game that I really like. She has some really cool perks. She has Super Soldier Level 3 which nullifies the next 5 hits. Damage dealt and weapon accuracy are increased by 50% for a duration of 12 seconds. The ability restores after 60. Probably in my opinion, especially the way I play, uh, she is the best choice. For me. Uh, Guns of Blazing isn't a bad skill, but it's superseded by that. Guns of Blazing allows you to expel an infinite amount of ammo for 15 seconds. Accuracy and recoil are both improved by 67% per shot. The cooldown time is 45 seconds. So yeah, and she can also use incendiary rounds, but I really don't see the point in that. Now XP is basically your currency in this game. You use that for buying perks and weaponry, but they're really... <laughs> is next to nothing to buy which is another problem and a lot of the stuff that you can buy is pointless so our two passive abilities which have been leveled up to max are body armor which gives us 30 percent resistance to uh, fire and quick reload quick reload i can take it or leave it it's not overly important but the body armor is damn near required one second guys Okay, so we're going to take that. Spectre is useless. I want the Medic. I want uh, Four Eyes, because she can take control of enemies, which kind of is useful. Near. Um, to be honest, it really doesn't matter too much on who you take in your party. They're pretty much all the same. Now... <clears throat> This is the character that I envisioned myself playing as, Beltway, because I like playing the big heavy weapons guys, have a huge weapon, um, some kind of automatic belt fed machine gun, and heavy armor. Now this guy doesn't have the heavy armor, regardless of what he looks like, she actually has the best armor in the game, which is fine. Uh, this guy uh, basically gets resistance against explosives. Now, from what I can remember, explosives um, don't really play a huge part of the game, so they're not overly handy. Uh, so we've got a light machine gun. Now, these are the weapons you get in the game. I haven't unlocked them all because, like I've previously previously said, <sighs> once you've unlocked like the best weapons in the category, there's no point in them. Uh, with the exception of, I'm tempted to try the mob special. 
Um, I might take that with me. I've been thinking about unlocking that for a long time. So what's the weapon stats? It's accuracy sucks. It has a high level of blood frenzy, a rate of fire, and its ammo are quite high. So let's take that. Why not? So that's technically the best uh, heavy weapon, I would have thought. Although you can have the machine gun as well. Hmm. Okay. Now the light machine gun's better than the heavy machine gun. Uh, that basically, and I now keep saying basically, it's annoying me as well. And that boils down to the fact that the heavy machine gun fires really, really slowly. It can't hit anything either, which is a huge... I'm, I'm not even kidding. It cannot hit anything. Um, so that's a problem with it. But the, heavy, uh, the light machine gun is much better because its accuracy is there. Most of its power is still there as well. Uh, I think it loses one point of power. So the light machine gun has been my favourite weapon of the game. It only has half the ammo of the heavy machine gun as well. But like I said before, the heavy machine gun is a useless weapon. I've never used the mob special, so we're going to go for that. Sidearm wise, I find all of the side wi uh, sidewinders sidearms are pretty much the same weapon. Uh, there's really not very much. Uh, not a large difference between any of them. Um, I've used those three and I certainly haven't noticed any difference. They they all seem pretty shit. So we're just going to go for the Samurai's Edge. Anyway, let's go. Let's do this thing. Now one thing that annoys me about having to do this uh, beginning bit is the beginning level is easily the most boring level of the game. It really turned me off when I first played this game. I thought it was so boring. The graphics are terrible. There's nothing interesting to look at. However, this game does get a lot better once you get off the first mission. We also have to start off with a really long, annoying, unskippable elevator scene. And you don't get to play as Hunk. That's the biggest crime. Look at him. He's a badass. There we go. Everybody wants to play as Hunk, man. Mr. Death. You guys must be the new Delta team. The very same. Call me Four Eyes. At your service. My name is Bertha. Ready to play. Name's Bellway. Nice to meet you, Mr. Death. Call I love Luke. his voice. Delta Team Squad Leader. Command, I've rendezvoused with Delta Team. Understood. Now find Birkin and secure those samples. Failure is not an option. Failure is never an option. Let's move. All right, let's do this thing. Now, this is the elevator scene that you cannot skip, and it's really We're annoying. The lab of Dr. William Birkin, an umbrella scientist attempting to sell classified samples of a weaponized virus strain to the U.S. government. Okay. You mean umbrella T virus? No. This is a new gene-altering compound Birkin's developed called the G-Virus. Ah. It's significantly more powerful, and he's in possession of the only known sample. Tell me more. There's a detachment of Umbrella's biohazard countermeasure service on site who will likely try to protect him. Okay. They are unaware of this operation and are considered expendable. Are we on the same team? Could we just uh, pick up the phone and call? The UBCS are just mercenaries. They can be bought. We can't assume they're loyal. You just want to kill them, Hunk. And I agree. Set Birkin and secure the G virus. All right, finally, let's do this. Now, the other thing I like about Four Eyes is she has a light machine gun, which is really handy. Okay, so let's grab up a first right, aid spray. Nothing's live. We're ready for action. So you do actually get this weapon in Resident Evil 4. It's the Chicago right, typewriter. Open. Let's go. Now there's little uh, discs and things, there's data scattered throughout the area, hard drives, tapes, that sort of thing. Now you can pick those up and they're bonus, um, full bonus experience I should say. And they unlock items in the gallery. Now I've never ever looked in the gallery, so we shall do that at the end of this LP. Uh, whether we're going to complete the gallery or not, I'm not sure. But the environments, for the most part, there really is nothing around. There's nothing to look at. So, unfortunately, there really isn't a lot of point in looking around. And what have I missed there? Stun grenade. Useless, but we'll take it. Woohoo! What are you looking at, fellas? It must be a new type of 
It's a hunter. You don't want to play with the hunter. I'm serious. They're bad news in this game. Okay, let's. We got company. Oh, I like this gun. Oh, ho, 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 ho. she's nice. You don't even see the magazines come out of the weapons. I, I find that disappointing. Come on, you. Show me what you got. These mercenaries are pretty useless. I like this gun. I'm already thinking this is my new favorite gun. Short control burst, guys. And that guy is really well protected by that banister. There we go. He's down. You're the last one standing, buddy. You have no chance. Now, this is the PC version, and it is on max settings, and it's still not a very nice looking game. But all that would have been forgiven, I, I mean, you guys know me, I don't care about graphics. Um, you know, I still play Mega Drive games and things, masses and games, but you do expect a certain level with a new game. Uh, a lot of this game's problems would have been forgiven as well, if it had been a budget game. If this had been a budget game, it would have been fantastic. But its biggest crime was being full price. Put a frag on those troops. Yes, sir, Mr. Mr. Death. There we go. Grenades are very hit and miss as well. Um, they're quite hard to aim. Let's light these guys up. Wow, this... Guys, I can tell you, if you haven't played this game, this gun is freaking awesome. Who... You shoot me in the back. What are you doing, Mr. Death? He's got no loyalties. There we are. Give him a lick of rounds. Uh, also, after this game, I already know what I'm going to be playing. Uh, I have just brought off eBay. I'm still waiting for it to arrive. I've brought uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, the first, the first game. And uh, that will be 100% blind, because I've never played that game before. I don't know why it is a game that I've always wanted to play. So anyway, that will be 100% blind. I don't know nothing about the game apart from um, there's eight playable characters. And we are trying to escape Raccoon City. At least I believe that's what we're doing. I know nothing about the characters. That I, I know one's a cop and most of them are civilians, but that's pretty much it. Alright. These guys are falling like dominoes. And you. Down you go, sir. Really? Headshot. I think she stole my kill there. Bitch. F8 spray. Well. Considering we can only hold one F8 spray, I always use one if I can see one. There's no point keeping them with us. Okay, let's use our power. Time to go mental. Alright. Who's left? Just you? In the guts. Get out of here. Okay, sounds like a plan. Proceeding to Birkin's lab. Stay focused. Birkin's already set up an exchange with the US military. We may run into special operatives before this is over. See, that's something I don't think you ever ever found out about in Resident Evil 2. Also, uh, another problem with this game that does make it feel very... We don't have to worry too much about the action going on over here. I guess we better at least pretend we're, we have team spirit. Uh, the other problem with this game is the the amount of reused assets. Um, you have a big open room like this and it's full of the same repeated items. Now these, when I first saw this, I thought this was pretty badass. Uh, almost as if this is a reference to one of the photos in Resident Evil 2, the photo of the claw growing in a jar. But the trouble is, this is completely ruined by the fact that these are everywhere throughout this game. Okay. So who's left? Beltway, you are down. Now I always thought he was called 
Beltway, but he says his name is Bellway, so I'm not sure. It could be his accent. Get out here, guys. Coming through. Room for a little one. Okay. Hey, I've just picked his ass up and he's injured already. What a dick. Ah, that's a badass. Look at him. Don't forget your training. If they get too close, use hand-to-hand -hand combat. Don't forget your training, and you will make it back alive. Okay. One thing that disappointed me as well, um, I believe I've already just said this, is you don't get to play as Mr. Death. Now, I thought he might have been an unlockable character or something, but no. Come on, put another mag in there. This gun actually feels like um, what the heavy machine gun should have been. Let's grab some more rounds. You do eat through your ammo in this game. Uh, are you are, seriously? Why did you wake up this morning? Get up. Okay. Now around here, there's some goodies. To use that. If you use a F8 spray when you're in close proximity of um, your men, it will kind of heal those as well. But to be honest, it doesn't matter too much. Come on, guys, let's get down. You cozy little area here. Oh, F8 spray. Uh, who's injured? Beltway, you're pretty injured. Using authorized access. Come here. There you go. You <clears throat> it would have been good as well. Uh, another thing that they could have added is if you could give simple orders to your men, like regroup, maybe wait, defend, take cover. <clears throat> Only simple things, you know, nothing too serious. That would have made the game a lot easier. Alright, let's do this thing. Come on. Come on, guys. Very bland environments. Disappearing computers. There is a lot of pop-up in this game as well. <clears throat> and if you see these jars over here, bunk. Again, every single part of this game feels like it should have been a budget 20 quid game. If this had been 20 quid, well, I only paid two quid for it, but I brought this brand new off eBay. But if this had been a budget game, the review scores would have been higher. A lot of people would have been more understanding. Come on, guys. Guys. Guard this door. Do not let anyone approach. Okay. You come with me. You heard it from the man himself. There he is. So William. Finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G virus sample. Alright, look. Alright, guys, you heard. Nobody gets in. Seriously, guys, a bit heavy handed. Here they come. Alright, now soldiers are quite. Uh. Let's get this done. Can't think and shoot at the same time. Now, government soldiers in this are, can be pretty tough, depending on how they get you. Let's toss a frag in the corner. All right, good stuff. What are you? <laughs> oh my god, I got that on camera. I'm glad. There's plenty of glitches in this game, but that was one of the funniest. It's like he forgot how to aim his gun. Uh, holding it by the barrel, trying to fire bullets out of the stock. I expected better from you guys. Let's munch that herb down. Come on, let's keep the pressure on. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you think? Captain Obvious is on the radio there. Okay, grab that. Chew that down. Now, um, F8 sprays do get relatively rare 
later on in the game as well so it's always worth holding on to one um, and using it only as an absolute last resort alright Mr. Death I'm coming boom someone's angry Thanks, Goblin. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Looks like it. Heading to the rendezvous. Understood. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, is anyone injured? Because there is another. You'll do. There you go. There's some spray. There you go. Now your own men very rarely heal you, which is another part of the problem, and you do get uh, infected in this game, which is kind of cool, I like it, um, but when your men get infected, they won't heal themselves, they won't use antiviral medicine even if they have it, at least to my knowledge, uh, which is a problem. Okay, come on pooch, where are you? Oh, not quite yet. Oh god. William is pissed. The cinematics can be quite badass in this. Well done, Larry Ledfoot. Now everyone's gonna get ill. Okay. Pretty sure there's a dog around here somewhere. Ah, uh, maybe not. William! Oh, I tell you what, guys. I know I keep saying this, but I like this weapon. I like this weapon a whole lot. Right. Also, the way the video, this uh, LP is going to go, one video is going to be one mission. I know that might mean uh, we have long videos, but it's the easiest way to do it, to be honest. Alright, let's get back to our team. Let's not roll in that stuff. Okay. Quit your belly aching. Don't forget our objective. Exactly what we signed up for. And he is right behind us by the sound of things. Whoa. I don't have to worry too much about fire. It's not that bad. Whoa, a bit of steam in the face there. At least that should put the fire up. Boom. Okay. Now, there are explosive barrels that you can shoot. Of course there is. Red explosive barrels. Wouldn't be complete without them. But they take an awful lot to set off. Uh, not, maybe not with this gun. But if you have... Oh, hello, Will. What are you doing there? Stay back! Now, I do like his character design in this, it's very good, but I do have a problem with it as well. I think his eye uh, is completely wrong. Whereas in, the, uh, in Resident Evil 2, it was all closed up and uh, only came out every now and again and looked real menacing. Here it just looks like a giant glowing orb. What are you doing, William? Hulk smash! Come on. Now you can't turn around here, we just have to shoot this guy three times in the eye. Come on, smash the ground and charge. There you go. You're not predictable at all, are you? Smash then charge. Okay, we shot him. We've got to shoot him three times, I think. Short controlled bursts. There we go. Now we can run. Oh, thanks for the cover, guys. Very much appreciated. So I've got him trying to stick a pole up my ass, and I've got no cover at all. Well, that's team effort for you. Don't have to worry. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. Come on, guys. Come on. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's quite far away. Let's put some rounds on him. Okay. Also, whilst these guys have been waiting for me, nobody thought to push the button. I'll do it, shall I? Am I the only one that wants to get out of here? It would seem so.
Also, this game suffers huge frame rate problems, and uh, that's not that's not really my PC. That's just the way this game runs. <clears throat> this game is just very badly optimized on all platforms, I believe. So it doesn't matter whether you got a PC version or you're running a on a console. It just runs crappy. Hey, look! <laughs> Striker pose. Let's get a frag out there. Boom! See if I can circle around these idiots. There we go, you're wide open, Sunny Jim. Or well, you would be, there you go. Beautiful. Now that's how to make a mess. Oh yeah, yeah, don't don't think about healing me. You know, the one that actually matters. Come on, Fido. Yeah, man. No Fido? Yeah, there you are. Ah, oh, you still got me. Thanks for the help. She makes that annoying noise quite a lot. Listen. She seems to enjoy that way too much. Okay. Yeah, Mom. Nice try. Okay. Time to move. That door really does look like something out of a PS2 game. Ah, this is what I want. Ammo. Oh god, here we go. Government goons. Well, we took a lot of rounds there. No, don't blind fire. There you go. Uh, sometimes, depending on what position you're in, the game won't give you the choice of blind firing or normal firing. It would just choose one for you. And it usually chooses the most inconvenient one. Okay. Now, being a PC game, I can't remember if I said this or not, uh, I would like to use mouse and keyboard for this. Um, but. The mouse and keyboard, oh shit, controls for this game suck so much ass. Come on William, you can do better than that. There you go, I'll let you hit me. Time to move. Yeah, it doesn't let you remap controls very well and all that sort of stuff. But to be fair, the controller is fine. I quite like playing games with a control pad anyway. Okay, let's use that spray. Bertha, you're letting the team down, honestly. Well, you're going to stay there now, because I sure as hell ain't going back for you. There we go, let's move. It doesn't matter if your teammates fall here. Let's grab some ammo. And uh, health. Ow, I forgot about this. Yeah, they like to fall down a lot in this corridor. Damn, we got two guys down. Am I the only one left? No. Me and one other. Get up, you silly woman. Oh, everybody's down. This is all on me. There we go. This is the first level in the game. And my team has failed me already. Come on. Birkin injected himself with the G-Virus. There's nothing you can do. Get out of here and make a full report to management. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I lost the same. I'm going back. <laughs> what a guy. Off he goes. And there we go. SSC. S. Not bad, I guess. But then, getting a good grade doesn't really matter too much in this game because the only thing you get out of it is uh, more experience. Now, I don't know what the max uh, level is in this game. I assume it'll either be 50 or 100. But, um,. I just wish there was better things that we could spend our experience on, but there, but there really isn't. Okay guys, now that finishes this uh, part of the uh, let's play, this is the first mission done. Hopefully, uh, I hope I won't do something stupid and lose the file, um, and I'll catch you in the fourth part. Thanks for watching everybody, see you next time.